Alrighty, gonna try to get course number three in for the day, which is gonna be Pewter Dunes by Matt F27, also known as Ren Sport. So, I always preface these by saying, A, I'm not trying to score well on these, so my score is not um, indicative of the challenge or how the judging is gonna go on this. Sometimes I play well, sometimes I don't. Um, secondly, the um, comments I have to make on these um, also, these are my first looks at these courses, so um, I will do different critiquing on my own score sheets and all that. These are just my first impressions. Um, that being said, um, I will point out technical issues if there are any other than that. Comments that I make are nothing more than my opinion or what I see um, as a fellow designer. Just things that I may have done differently or things I might, uh, or things that I think might help the um, looks or playability of a course. Um, by all means, if you don't agree with them, that's fine. Nobody has to agree with me, but please don't get on the forums and start raising hell or start um, busting out my PM box um, just because you're upset with it. It's just an opinion. Unfortunately, a lot of this is subjective, so just treat it for what it is. If you see something I say that makes sense, that you're like, yep, you know, maybe I should think about that on my next course, great. If you don't agree with me, do what you got to do. It's your vision, your concept, play it to the hilt, baby. Other than that, Let's go ahead and get started with Pewter Dunes. I think that's how we spell it. And for whatever reason, your chat is not showing up on. Damn it, man. One second. Well, this is a little annoying. Well, it shouldn't be going away um, now. Hopefully it pops up and stays. Okay. Nice. That was the main thing about it right there. I thought I had it set up to like not go away. Okay, thanks Pablo. I think I've got it set up now to disappear after one minute. That way it doesn't keep getting bogged down. But, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see what Matt wanted us to play on here. I think I'd start doing this um, before um, I actually got on here, but every time Nope. There's Pewter Dunes. Black Tees, Pin Set 3. Okay. Black Tees, Pin Set 3. Okay, gentlemen. Black Tees, Pin Set 3. Pewter Dunes by Ren Sport or Matt F27 or whichever one he's going by today. This 
Is he one of the knuckleheads that said to give it to him straight? To be as brutal as I want to be? <laughs> nah, I try not to do that. I mean, you really have to have just a janky course. So, here's our look off to T. This is always a hard thing to judge uh, when somebody's doing a Lynx course because you're obviously going to have limited amounts of planting and stuff around there. It's just the nature of it. But I oftentimes feel like that there needs to be something in the peripherals over here. It's like some plants, some grow, um, gorse or something through here just to kind of break up the sight lines. It's good to show off a lot of the openness, but you don't want it just to be flat open. He almost got a cool little looking on this. Um, personally, I would have lowered the uh, the edging right here on this front side. I'd have made this a little bit lower, and we would have carried my sculpting from the uh, back down into the edge of my bunker right there. What you actually get off that is a look off your bunker where it's raised. You see it, and it really frames that hole going in there. I mean, it's not what you have is bad. It's just that you could you could show it off better than what you have. And a lot of it has to do with the um, contouring right here in front. See how raised this is? Well, you're raising this up into that, and it's blocking off the view of your bunker. So make this lower where it flows into it. Not only does it mean the ball will feed in there on a bad shot, but then you can do a little bit of, um, of um, touching up on the bunker behind there, and it just gives you a little bit better look. And there's some pretty rough... Um, sculpting in through here Matt I mean it's interesting it looks like it may me uh, may feed the ball in some different ways but you take that out as a playable area for somebody with your hole position at 414 I don't know if this is fast and firm or not but if that's firm a lot of people would opt to hit that short and move it up onto the green instead of trying to play directly at the pin well you take that option out because you have no way of knowing where your ball is going to kick you know going off that I mean well you do know where it's going to kick you hit over onto the right right there, it's going to kick straight to the left. You hit it on the left right there, it's going to kick straight to the right. I'm just saying you don't have a way to use the opening of your fairway right there as a playable area. So just something to kind of watch for. I'm not going to be as in-depth on every hole, but those are just things I noticed right off the top. Oh. There we go. Get my practice swing in just to make sure this lined up ready to go. I am playing with tour clubs on these since it's a CC um, geared design competition and I feel like most of the players are going to be playing with player clubs so I'm going to play with player clubs as well. See, this is where it highlights it even a little bit more. If you lower your fairway in front of your bunker right there, smooth it out, and let it feed into your bunker right there, this just becomes a lot, a lot better looking shot into this green. Damn, man. Well, welcome to Highlands theme, fellas. fast swing. I didn't help myself there any at all, did I? I knew I was going to shoot that through, but I didn't want to try to take a chance on flopping it. It was going to be worse. It was a weird angle. I'll just take bogey on the first hole and be done with it. God, this stuff is checking up so much today.
Come on, advance. Shit. I made that hole a lot harder than what it really was. Pretty much because of the fast downswing. Go figure. Deceptively tight landing area. Same thing on this bunker that I was saying before, this time you need to do it on the opposite side. So you're planting your bunker up here, you have it nestled up against your green. That looks good. My personal opinion is this terrain's too high over here on this side. I'm not talking about the hills, but how you sculpt it down into it. Okay, it's not going to let me get into it right now, but flatten that right hand side or that bunker, that terrain out into your hill and make it lower and you've just got a better looking shot. I mean, this is where the courses I've played of match, where I get it is that the guy has some great ideas for some holes. Um, he definitely does some quality design, but it's now just the finishing um, part. <sighs> Fuck. Tell you what, man. That's about to irritate the shit out of me. Yeah. Not a fan of the overall look on this hole. Um, I'm trying to be critical, but I mean, just everything's hidden from it. I mean, you either raise this part of the fairway or. I don't know how to. I mean, it really looks like you just need to raise your green elevation up here a little bit to kind of show it off. And then smooth it off in the front of that green, like down in here to this area. Lower this just a little bit. Show your bunker off. Let them frame your holes. I mean, that's what they're there for. They're not only you know, hazards. Let them be uh, part of what sets your course off. And then, like, this is the area that I was talking about right here. There's really no reason for this to be, um, um, to be this high on this side. My usual method for bunkers is to have one high be a side, or a high side, one side be a low side. So, Yeah, I'd definitely lower this, flatten it off, and carry it into my hill right there and do some um, terrain work in this middle area right here to where you see it. I mean, right now, we just don't see it. We're just... I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a blind shot here and there, but it's a shame that it takes away from your course so much. Now, all my swings are going to be fast. That's going to be great. Germany Christmas. See, we're coming out at 92 to 96. That's going to roll out. It should have rolled out some, but not so much. pin right there, isn't it? Okay, I'm not sure why we have the yellow sloping right there. I don't understand why we want to run the ball off the um, off the green. It arises a par five, and you can have some sloping there, but that's a little bit severe, giving 
how small this area is right here anyway. I mean, that's, uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan. Just me. Other judges may feel differently about it, but I'm not, um, I'm not crazy about that right there. I mean, it's not like this is reachable in two. That's the putt that I expected off of it, so I'm not going to try to get cute with it. We'll just take a par and move on. Yeah, that's, um, I don't really see a purpose for that. That's just there, like, flipping me a finger, saying you didn't stick it right next to the hole, so fuck off. Kind of curious why Matt wanted us to play his tightest pins as um, for a CC competition. That's going to be a little bit interesting. Would have um, smoothed this one out just a little bit. This transition you have on this corner right here. For whatever reason, it's catching my eye like big time. But I'd make that a little bit softer corner right there. That's pretty abrupt. Just maintain the integrity of your shaping because I mean you've got like a really nice outline going over here on this side the way it feeds and that just kind of I, mean, I know that's being overly critical but that's what people ask for Same thing with the bunkers. That's where uh, my first thing I come with is that the, uh, you're missing some opportunities to make your bunkers really. Good lord. Back to even par. Huh. Okay. Not sure why the waypoint wants to take us over there. Realize it's a dune style course that he's wanting this to look um, a little bit more rugged, but probably could have benefited from extending the um, heavy rough up into these bunkers a little bit and everything else, kind of setting them off. Right, just a personal opinion on that one. Other than that, pretty good looking hole. I actually like this one a lot. I was in between clubs for me, that's all I could do on that one.
and I like to look over here to the left, like some of the bare hills and everything else. I like that. You just have to pick and choose where you carry your heavy rough into it, and um, that's that's a com completely just a taste thing. I prefer to um, kind of use it around the edges of my bunkers, just to kind of set the uh, the sand off a little bit. It's a complete blending thing, but. like the bunker here on the right. That's kind of a cool look. Missed an opportunity with this bunker back here on the left. Really could have used that to your advantage by raising it up a little bit to um, give you a nice looking tee shot right there. It's a little bit of a missed opportunity to give this one some oomph. That looks wonky. No offense, but it looks like it was placed there as an afterthought. playing hole right there. really like this hole in concept. There's a little bit of smoothing here and there. And I realize there's going to be bumps and such, but a little bit excessive along the way. And kind of the same thing. I'm not going to keep repeating it. Bunkers just need to be um, a little more fine-tuned. I think part of that's just um, the growing process and the, um, and the designer. Long damn hole in the wind, ain't it? I mean, for the most part, greens seem pretty solid right now. I knew that was coming. I didn't even think about what I was doing right there. That was a shit shot and a half. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Quit looking around the course and think about my damn shot for a change. One sixty sevens. I 
Mary C is missing a chance for a really, really, really cool looking hole on this one right here with that bunker. Yeah. So you see from the T now how that is uh, it's missing. You don't even see it. And it's such a cool design and concept. Kind of the same thing. If you leave this part right here lower, I mean, these hills are doing you absolutely no good right here. Not from a playability standpoint. They're actually hurting you from a look standpoint. Lower this, flatten it out, raise your green complex, and then recess these bunkers in, um, similar to what you did right here. Use the hilling behind that to set those off. And then what you get from the T right there is just the bunker face going into that green complex. And that is such a great freaking look, especially on this style of course. So that's just a missed opportunity there, Matt. What's up, Scampy? The, um, this is where um, two courses in a row now that we've seen it that the contouring has cost people a chance for a really cool look. And it really doesn't affect the playability at all. Good example right here. These little hills right here in front. Not sure what they're there for. I mean, to kick the ball back into the fairway, but it's a short hole. I mean, it's only 332 yards. So the chances of it, flatten that off, lower this area a little bit so you see the front of these bunkers. Raise your green area back here up, probably um, about six feet, six to eight feet to where it needs to go. And then sculpt this in to where it's recessed up against that edge and you have such a really cool um, look, especially with this bunker here inside of it. You did this bunker fine, back here on the back, back end edge of it. You did the same thing with the um, hilling up here on the front. And do that, but when you do that, now then look at what you're looking at across the um, horizon right there. Now you've got that bunker going into it. It's a lot more intimidating shot from the tee box and definitely sets it off a little bit. Just my opinion there, man. Uh, it sounds like it's being overly critical, but he asked me to give him the critique, so. It's a tight little shot right there. Which I don't necessarily mind um, with the driver on that, because this is a very short hole. So somebody can lay up with even an iron before that and have a um, reasonable shot coming across there. So beginning to wonder if he gave us his hardest pins to, to play <laughs> for the competition, man. This is what our third contest into this, so people can already get an idea of things that I'm going to look at and things I'm going to comment on. I did not hit that hard enough for my line. I left that way short. Pretty good look off the tee right there. So I'm just kind of sitting here and like kind of gazing. I kind of like it. It's a long distance for that pin, but holy shit! That's um, one thing I would urge designers to do. That especially on par threes, when you're just going to stick something out here on the corner like that. Um, keep in mind your distance.
I mean, that's um, what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't mind with the way he has um, everything set up here. This isn't just like horrible because you still got a chance to make par on it, but that's a um, really long shot into that tight landing area right there. Nothing wrong with it, just don't overdo it. You have to pick and choose where you want your difficulty to be on a course, so I'm okay with this one. And just uh, you don't want it to become a theme throughout the um, throughout the round. Kind of a neat little hole. Same thing with the bunker over here. Missed an opportunity to. Uh... Personally, I think this would have been better served. Number one, get rid of this hill right here. Serves no purpose. The hill makes it look unfinished right there, but you just see the end of the bunker. But what happens if you take this and you bring this side of the bunker up and made it even with your fairway right here and this be the elevated side of your bunker on this side it frames your hole a lot better than what it does right now or if you want to keep it embedded like that embed this a little bit more use your sculpt tool before you ever lay this bunker to uh, recess it into this area and then flatten this side of it out Right now, it just has a very different look to it. Getting rid of the hill right there would, would improve the looks of it a lot right there. That right there, just get, getting rid of that hill right there would improve it a lot, in my opinion. The... Um, And this needs to be smoothed out a lot right here. That's, to me, a little bit too bumpy. Well, not a little bit. That's way too bumpy coming into a slope like that. So I don't mind the elevation. Just smooth that out and let it be a fall off of that. I don't like the uh, big hump and bump that can send your ball going in any which direction, especially given the extreme contouring you've done on the green. I mean, with all the sloping you have up here, where it's going to feed the ball, that's um, probably just, it's just not clean. Whew, boy, that's going to scoot that ball right on through, isn't it? I like the hole. I like the um, I like the design of it, but the um, this needs to be a lot smoother. Uh, how much nicer would that be if that was smooth from the edge of the green, coming down this hill right here, and then you actually you know see the front edge of that green complex? That's just my take on it, man. Ah, uh, get up there, son of a bitch. Pretty extreme contour on this green right here. I get what he was going for, but I probably would have smoothed that out a little bit. Just 
So this bunker right here on the left, that's exactly what I was wanting him to do with that bunker on that last hole that I was talking about. He actually built that into the side of the fairway and it looks nice. Yeah, this fits the hole. This is exactly what I've been talking about before. You have a smoother, flatter side on the end of a bunker, and then you build it into the recess. I like that. I like that. Neat hole. Oh, wonky waypoints, man. Son of a bitch. This wind, this is going to be rough. It's, it's hard for me to critique too much on the contouring only because I know he's going for a rougher look that you get from um, Link slash Dune style courses but some of the transitions need to be a little bit smoother like right here in this area it's okay to have your hill there just don't make it so abrupt smooth that out over one time same thing with this right here you're still going to get it to play the same it's still, you're still going to have the hump and bump with it it's just going to look cleaner right now it only serves to give it a very um, unfinished look Damn it, that's a 14 mile an hour wind back in my face. Oh, this is gonna suck. Especially when I hit slow. Sorry guys, I can't do anything about the swing. I tried messing around with it this morning, but it's just doing whatever the hell it wants to do. I'm doing the same one over and over and over again. So it's either gonna be fast or it's slow or it's perfect. But it's the same swing over and over again. I thought it would catch that little hill right there and come back a little bit, but... Ooh. Wow. Goodness, that's a, that's a green there, kid. Yep, you didn't do yourself any favors with this one. And when you wiped out this side of the green entirely for um, a pin placement, I know you want to like put one like right up here in the front, and that's fine. But that corner right there is gone because of this contouring right here. A little bit of overkill. That really doesn't make your green look very clean either. Now the drop off on the front, this is good. I do like that but probably could have toned this one down a little bit. It is, um, it, it's almost like it was manufactured for difficulty. There, there's no flow to this green, if that makes any sense. There's just no flow to it. It is built to, built to punish, and that's uh, where I have the issue with it. That one is 100% built to punish. Guys, I've got to take um, about two minutes away from here. I need to run the dog outside really quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, just getting into what I was talking about the greens before, and this isn't directed at Matt in, um, in particular, but just in general. Look like some designers are in this habit of building out their course, and the greens are almost an afterthought. Like, they've laid in the hole, everything looks the way they want it to, and then they come back to the green and say, okay, I'm going to put a pin in here, 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 and here. Now, how can I make it as hard as possible to access those pins? And that's not the way greens work, guys. Your greens need to be part of the thought process as you're building your hole, where your angles are coming in from um, and all that. You're doing yourself a disservice if you have no thought going into what your green's going to look like, you know, until after the rest of your hole's designed. Um, that was a little bit reminiscent of it, and it doesn't, I mean, it just takes away from what otherwise can be a really good, um, a really good green, and it turns it into something that makes you go, uh, gets a little bit sketchy. But that's just a general observation. I'm seeing it more and more, especially with um, newer designers in TGC2 when I'm playing through some of the scouting. It's like, man, there's so much good going on until we get to the green, and then we get to the green, it was like, oh, okay. So just take it for what it's worth. This needs to be lower right in here. It's kind of the same thing we've had going on um, throughout this. Just a um, missed opportunity to showcase a bunker and give the hole some depth. Sorry, getting some messages going on here now. Okay, what we got? 128. Much better on the green right here. There's movement in it. I mean, you can definitely see the movement, but it makes a little more sense to the shot than the other one did. was a contributing factor on that one. I was trying to sneak it in right there to the left of the hole, but just missed it. has a very Chambers Bay-esque feel to it to me. Cool looking tee shot. Hill could probably be a little bit lower right there. But that's just a very minor nitpicky thing, nothing more. Other than that, really cool looking tee shot off right here. Boy, there's a long damn hole in this wind. Son of a bitch. I'm surprised we made it up there that far. This is going to be a full fledged. That's not even going to get me there. This 
so this should be fun. Ooh, boy, I almost went on the cone on that one. That was almost really bad. Making for a shooty putt here, ain't it? <laughs> That's pretty solid. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> oh. Pool g Darcy. Pool guys are here, so dog's about to get in on the act. Wow. Oh boy, that was lucky. If that doesn't go in right there, I'm off the green. That ball was hauling ass through there. Like shit. This is an interesting hole. I don't know why we're so far to the left. got going on here cool looking tee shot probably from a whole aesthetic standpoint probably wouldn't have made I can't reach it with the camera on this but that corner right there is probably a little bit too flared out but that's a very minor thing Looks like it may have just gotten away from him a little bit when trying to uh, get his brushes all together. Unless he splined it, which is a possibility as well. But that's uh, it's pretty wide right there, but eh, works. Very minor thing. I just probably would have toned that down just a little bit. Of course, we're slow and slow. The only fucking swing that could have hurt me on that, and I managed to do it. Ugh. Got a little bit of a backdrop there. I don't think it's going to help me though if I fly this. Yep, just trying to get a little bit closer than that, but I didn't necessarily want to send it behind that pin either. Definitely give themselves some interesting pin positions on that green. Uh, I was trying to put it through that break. It got me. It just hung out to the right. Oh well.
sorry, answering an email really quick. Swing going to take us this time, fellas. So, same thing on this one, just a little bit smoother coming off that hill. Would have been a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Pretty severe drop right there. There's no reason in the world that couldn't have been smoothed out and gradiated, but eh, that's my own personal take on it. Uh, I hit that way too hard, given the wind and everything else. I knew there was a hill back there, but not that much of a hill. Take it easy, Pablo. Thanks for checking in, brother. What do we got here? What do we got here? That's a cool looking hole. Lose the bunker. Kind of the same thing. Bunker there in the back right could be elevated some to kind of show it off. Oh, no problem, Pablo. That's what I do, man. Cool look with the bridge. Everything going right there. It pulls off a successful look, in my opinion. Very fast. Are you shitting me right now? Are you fucking shitting me? It's almost like this goddamn game looks at the hole and says, what's the worst fucking way to fuck somebody over? Jesus Christ. There's no way that was a very fast swing. Z very, very same fucking swing right there. Exact fucking swing. Good God, man. It's a damn good thing I still enjoy designing. Otherwise, I would not own this game. I really wouldn't. I'm not going to get into this shit again because I've already had to say what I've had to say about it. But this gets so fucking frustrating. And for anybody that's going to actually stand there and argue that the swing does not change during the course of a round, 
you know, kiss the bottom side of my nutsack. It does. It absolutely does. I don't have very fast downswings ever, ever, until I hit a hole like that, and then it'll happen. Same fucking swing, man. No, I've already said it. I'm rather adamant. I don't mind scheduling. I can still play through enough to figure out where a course belongs and all that. But I have zero interest in playing on tours until this shit is somehow resolved. This is just not a fun-to-play scenario. If it was consistent and I'm just bad, fine. I can live with that. But the swing changes. It, it, I don't give a shit what anybody says. It does change. Same fucking swing. Except that time I'm way out of the damn cone trying to make sure that I don't fuck myself over. Of course, now's when people want to text me. Then it takes me out of the mindset of doing this. Got an illegal pin right there. That's too much. Yeah. Bad pin placement on that one, Matt. Move it forward a box and a half and you're okay. But right there, that doesn't work. I like the hole. I'm not a fan of the green. I can only imagine what that looks like over there on that side. The humps and bumps, but since this is all we're playing, it is what it is, right? Am I even shooting through this? Even par, huh? Okay. Actually inflicted by one hole, but it's a nice bunker there on the left. That was well done. That's a cool looking hole. Sorry, text.
Okay, let's get this shot out of the way here. Massive wind, 174, uphill. Same frickin' swing, perfect, perfect this time. They ended up very fast that time before. That's just crazy. That's fortuitous. Woo. It's a rough putt. How that's not yellow is beyond me. Thanks. This is it's a nasty little putt. Good looking closing hole on this one. Really cool idea. Making this one tough to negotiate, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good looking hole on this one, Matt. Oh, good sneak up there. Don't like that. I'm gonna tell you straight up, I don't like that. If you're going to present it as a risk reward, Par five, don't make it where you get a ball up there and have it roll off like that, but that's just my take on that one, kid. I mean, I guess it works for what it is. It's just with that length, there's legitimately about a two yard landing area right there. You can get it in. Oh, well, that's a very minor thing with tour clubs. It wouldn't matter anyway. One par three. That fifteenth, and nothing wrong with the hole design on it. That was a fucking swing thing, but take two off that. So a pretty solid course, man. I can see that being on tour. It's got some rough edges around it. Um, that thing just comes with time as a designer, you know, and finding feeling that flow of how to smooth things out. But that's a um, pretty solid course. I actually really liked it. And with that, guys, I will leave, and I'll be back with one more this afternoon um, here in about five minutes.